Let's talk about Three Mile, Three Mile Island. What, what really happened there? We've heard all kinds of stories about meltdown, and uh, uh, they made movies on it uh, that uh, this meltdown could melt right through the earth, clear through to China, and, uh, and we've seen a lot of scare stories. What really happened at Three Mile Island? Do you know what really happened there? Yes, I do. I followed that one very closely. Uh, in fact, I know the guys personally who wrote the script for China Syndrome and also wrote the script for the Three Mile Island fiasco. Dale Breidenbaugh, Dick Hubbard, and Greg Miner, who used to work with me at General Electric, are the MBH associates that wrote that China Syndrome script. And not only that, remember that was the time China Syndrome came out, Jane Fonda starring. Fourteen months ahead of the TMI-2 accident, it was predicted in writing in New York State that that accident would happen one year from the date that that Three Mile Island 2 reactor started up. It started up in March 1978, and it went down March 28, 1979, right on the day, one year anniversary. In other words, with 14 months advance notice, the industry still went along with the sham. Nothing happened there except that the owner, the operator, and the regulators conspired to turn it off. What melted? The top of the fuel rods, the third time that the core got uncovered, uh, due to internal pressure, blew the top off some of those rods. They've got Inconel springs in them to keep the pellets, fuel pellets, from vibrating when it's running. Those things are under compression, and when they reduced the outside pressure, and the fuel rods were still hot, it blew the top off some of those fuel rods. Uh, the fuel rods in TMI-2 are internally pressurized to about 1,200 PSI with helium gas so that they don't reverse dent when they're hot and running for five years. And when they drop the outside pressure, why that internal pressure with those hot rods blew the side out of some of those rods at the top. But melting? The fuel is already an oxide ceramic. It uh, is a pellet. It's been pressed into a ceramic. It, when you pick it up and feel it, it feels like metal. It's pressed so very, very tight, hard. And so, no, the fuel didn't melt. The China Syndrome is a scriptwriter's fantasy. Uh, right here, I'll tell a story, I guess. See, I spent uh, three weeks on the island in March of 1981, the two-year anniversary of this particular, quote, accident. And Tom Hall, who stood alongside Enrico Fermi when they pulled the control rods on 100B in October 1944 at Hanford, and I were delegated to go to the island and find out what happened, and so we did. We went over all of the records and everything else, and, and there, as we could tell from performance records, 51 thermocouples, for instance, uh, only one of which went over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The center line temperature of those rods when they're running is 4,032 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> and so they say things like over 50% of the core was greater than 4,000 degrees. Yes, it was. If it wasn't, it wasn't running at 100% power. So they take that kind of information and bugger it all up so that you don't understand what's going on. They give you a little bit of it. Well, the worst joke that people could dream up and they says, do you know what the NRC's worst nightmare is? No, I don't know what that is. Galen Windsor and Tom Hall in the TMI2 control room for an hour by themselves. <laughs> you know why people that know laugh? These crazy guys from Hanford would have started that baby up and showed that it would run. We'd have started it up and they were afraid of us. So there was no accident at Three Mile Island? No, they did it on purpose. Shut it out. Very interesting.